Good morning, this is the Dry River Wash in the Estrella Wilderness area, and I'm taking a break to talk about an anime, Nobody's Boy Remy. Nobody's Boy Remy is set in France in the early 1900s, and it's about an orphan boy who's taken in by a French couple. After the baby is found abandoned in Paris, he's taken out to the Barberin family farm to be raised by mom. Dad goes off to work in Paris, while mom and Remy stay home to work the small farm. So things didn't work out that badly for the baby after all. Or did they? When dad loses his job due to an injury and comes back home, the family goes broke and has to sell their cow. What? Dad wants to know why they've still got this boy who isn't really theirs. So, despite mom's protest, he sells the boy to a traveling performer named Vitalis. The performer, Vitalis, isn't really a bad guy, and he sets about teaching Remy how to be a traveling performer like him. Remy then becomes part of the Vitalis traveling troupe, which includes Mr. Vitalis himself, plus his troop of animals, including the remarkably well-trained dog, Cappy, and lastly, a monkey named Jolie Coeur. They travel all around France, performing in different places until Mr. Vitalis makes a mistake and slugs a police officer who's giving them a hard time. <laughs> and so Vitalis is hauled off to jail and Remy and the dogs are left to care for themselves. There's no need for worry, Remy will find new friends to have adventures with, and eventually he'll wander off on a quest to find his real parents. The anime is a really early work of Osamu Dezaki, who later went on to make Ashita no Joe, Rose of Versailles, Space Adventure Cobra, The Blackjack OVAs, and The Legend of Moby Dick, among others. He has a pretty distinctive style that uses a lot of still images. It's cost effective and gets the job done to tell a lengthy story where the animation really isn't the point. Remy has a lot of adventures wandering over France, but it's hard to say that this is a really interesting series. Nobody's Boy Remy is based on the French children's novel Sans Famille, so it shouldn't be any surprise that the target audience is pre-teens, and there isn't a lot in the story to interest adults, which makes it a curious choice for imagination to bring into the U.S. in subtitle format, since the target audience doesn't seem to have much patience for subtitles. I can't really recommend it unless you're a student of Osamu Dezaki or looking for a new way to torture the grandchildren.
Obviously, this is old school animation, and the story isn't very exciting. So the best I can do is give it two stars. Thanks for listening.